I don't like being followed. What? Wait, you, you think I was following you? No, no, I, I was just, I was taking a shortcut. You know, I'm cutting through here to meet with someone. Unfortunately, he's late. <laughs> but no big deal, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna just take a different path. No, mm, not so fast. Can't let you do it, John. Do what? I'm not gonna let you poison Steve. You won't let me. What? <laughs> Is that what you think I'm doing? You think I'm poisoning my best friend? Yeah, that's exactly what I think. Oh, come on, well, it's pretty messed up. Where'd you get an idea like that? From you, actually. What? I heard you talk to that guy in the square. And I'm not gonna let you lie your way out of this one. This plan of yours to get rid of Steve Johnson, it stops now. You weren't cutting through here to meet someone, and we both know it. Okay. You're right. I was following you, but, but don't, don't panic. Okay? I, I'm actually a private investigator on a routine case. Here, I am going to show you my badge, okay? Okay. I, I was only... I know who you are, Paul. You're John Black's son. Okay. Well, since you know who I am, why don't you fill me in on who you are? And what you're up to with my dad? I think you're making too much out of this. I don't think I am. Will, you don't remember. But I work for an organization known as the International Security Alliance. I know what the ISA is. Well, that's good, Will. I'm glad you do. And I'm sure you also know we deal with a lot of cases, most of which are way over the heads of most civilians. And since you're not operating with all the facts... Here, I know this for a fact. You're poisoning your partner and best friend. Once again, because you're not operating with all the facts, I wouldn't stick my nose into things I don't understand. You don't have to treat me like a child, John. Paul told me about your past, about how Stefano used you as a pawn to carry out his missions. Is that what's happening now? You don't Are you somebody's pawn you don't even again? know what you're talking about. I know that that guy said a few more doses of the poison would kill Steve. And I just saw you pour the contents of a vial into this coffee cup and then ask to me. Is, is that, are you? Tell me, John. Were you planning on finishing him off tonight? You're making assumptions now, huh? I thought the ISA went after bad guys. But here you are, trying to murder your Last best time, friend. Will. Stay the hell out of this. I place. wish that I could. I really wanted to give you the benefit of the doubt. I wanted to get to the whole truth before I started accusing you of anything. That would have been smart. No. It would have been stupid. It would have been irresponsible. This has gone on long enough. I'm calling Marlena right now. I don't have to tell you a damn thing. My father hasn't been acting himself for a while now. I want to know what you did to him. <laughs> you got this a little backward. You don't get to ask questions. At least not while I'm holding the gun. We'll have to do something about that now, won't we? Well, what's that supposed to mean? Well, what do you know? Here comes my father now. Can't let you do that. Sorry, my landing needs to know what's going on. Not from you. You'll shoot me? But you don't think I won't? I know you won't. I know all about you, Paul. You may have thrown some heat in the majors, but... <laughs> You're not a killer. John, I think you are overreacting a little bit. There's no need to... Pull a gun on me? Well, obviously, I disagree on that. I just, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on with you. No. You were trying to call my lane. I can't let you do that. I gotta keep her out of this at all costs.
putting my phone away now. I'm not calling Marlena, and I won't. I know you won't. But I, I'd, I'd still like to know everything that's going on with you and Steve and the ISA. So. It's too late, Will. You already know too much. Let's go. Why? Why? Go where? Just move. Let's go. What are we doing in a cemetery, Chuck? This is Andre Demira's final resting place. Okay. Well, I'm, 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 uh, I'm sorry, John. I should not have threatened to expose you before I had all the facts. No, you shouldn't have. But the uh, good news is that we're alone now, clearly, and maybe now you can um, take the time to explain what you said. I didn't I already told you it's too late. Our time for talking's over, Will. John, why did you bring me here? What are we doing at the Demera Mausoleum? Let's go. I'm counting on you to deliver some good news. Because God knows we need some. Well, then maybe I shouldn't bring up the other reason why I need to talk to you. What other reason? I went over your divorce papers. Everything's in order. And I can file them as soon as you give me the go-ahead. Just like that? Will and I are... over? Sorry, son. Ah, <sighs> oh, Dad. I just... I just thought that maybe his, his memory would come back before we finalized the divorce papers. I know. I know you were. I was starting to believe by some miracle that he was going to show up here. He was going to remember everything. Our life and our love. But he didn't. And now I have to face the fact that he probably never will. Well... Inside. No. Why did you bring me here, John? So no one can hear us. Does this mean you're you're finally gonna tell me what you've been up to? God love you, you don't get it, do you? There is no point in explaining anything to you. Not anymore, Will. Come on, you gotta... At least tell me why you brought me all the way down here. I already did. This is where... the dead are put to rest. You're not serious. Do I look like I'm joking? You don't have to do this, John. I'm afraid I do. It's not like I didn't know this was coming. Doesn't make it any easier, I know. The thing is, I mean, even... When we're divorced, I'm not going to stop loving him. But since he's forgotten how he felt about me, he doesn't even want to remember. 
So I'm going to have to face that, and I'm going to have to move on, Dad. Maybe. Maybe? What do you mean, maybe? I don't know. The mind works in mysterious ways. I mean, think about the lengths that Sammy went to trying to shock Will into remembering. Yeah, but none of that worked. But something else might. Maybe something out of left field you never even considered. No, 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 no. I, I don't want to think about anything traumatic happening to Will ever again. He's been through so much. You don't want to do this. I don't have a choice. But you love Marlena. Do you think she's ever gonna forgive you if you kill her grandson? I certainly don't want anything bad to happen to Will in order for him to get his memories back. I'm just saying that someday his memory might return. Yeah, but I can't wait forever for that to happen. And I'm not saying you should, but you can still hold on to hope. Because if Will's memories ever come back, he's not just going to remember that you loved him. He'll remember that he also loved you. Shouldn't have come here, Paul. Oh, my God. What have you done? What are you doing?